As we go through this video, please remember that your numbers are going to be different from my numbers. So the first step in finding resultant velocity is to just figure out our values for our two legs, Vx and Vy. Now you already have Vx, that's going to be your average Vx or your average horizontal velocity uh, that you measured using your LabQuest. So I would suggest that you go ahead and write that in next to your diagram. The second thing you need to find is your Vy. We haven't calculated Vy, so go to your equation. Vy is equal to A times T. Acceleration you know, because you always know it, and that's 10 meters per second squared. Time, you calculated, so you're going to plug that in from your calculation. So we get 10 meters per second squared times, in my case, 0.5412 seconds, which gives us a Vy of 5.412 meters per second. And that is the second leg of my triangle here. So again, I would recommend you go on and plug that in on your diagram as well. But you're not finished yet, because what you're looking for is the resultant, or in this case, the hypotenuse of your triangle. So we go back to the old favorite Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, vx is our side a, vy is our side b, and our resultant, or r, is our side c, or our hypotenuse. So you plug your numbers in, 1.338 meters per second, square the whole thing, plus 5.412 meters per second, square the whole thing, gives us our resultant squared. Now when I add those two numbers together, I get 29.912 meters squared per second squared is equal to our resultant squared. Now some of you may leave it like this, but you're not finished. That's not your answer. In order to get rid of this squared, remember you have to square root. The opposite of squared is a square root. So you plug that in, square root of 29.912 meters squared per second squared. And finally, this is my resultant velocity, 5.469 meters per second. Notice that it is bigger than either of my two legs, or either of my other two values, but not a lot bigger. It's only a little bit bigger than my vertical velocity, my Vy. So that's a way that you can check yourself. The next one is our resultant displacement. And this one is even easier. And again, remember that your numbers will be different from my numbers. So first off, you measured your dy, the height. So you can just plug that into your diagram. And you also measured your actual dx. Please use your actual and not your predicted. So you've got the other leg. Plug that into your diagram. You're halfway there. Now again, we're going to go to our Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, a squared being our first leg. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. But dx squared plus dy squared equals our resultant squared. Plug in our numbers, and again, some people are tempted to stop right here, but you're not finished because that's your resultant squared. You need to take the square root of that in order to find your final answer, which in my case is 1.616 meters. And again, check yourself. It should be larger than either of your two legs, but not a whole lot larger than your dy. Once you have completely finished part two of the lab, remember to submit your picture.